About 3.30 yesterday, we got a call from a guy working on the railroad behind us. Uh, said he had noticed a human skull in the wood line behind here. So when we got out here, we started seeing different parts of a human skeleton. So that's when we called the GBI crime lab to come in and help us. Uh, we pretty much just canvassed the area yesterday and found the different body parts scattered about the size of a football field in these woods. And then today they sent two crime scene specialists out here with our guys. Uh, we're just going through trying to recover the bones to, you know, hopefully be able to figure out who this is and what happened out of here. Well, right now it's just a very slow, tedious process, basically on your hands and knees going through the pine straw. Uh, then they recover the pine straw, take it over to a sifter, sift it through to make sure there's still nothing that we missed. Uh, just looking for anything that'll help us, jewelry, body parts, uh, just making sure we don't lose anything. They'll be taken to the GBI crime lab in Atlanta. Uh, you know, they'll be able to do DNA for us, uh, do dental records, whatever we need to do to identify the person. We've had a couple people show up out here that had uh, family members missing for several years. So, you know, obviously this this opens up a lot of old wounds that people from been missing from the past are now wanting to know, uh, you know, if this is their loved one. So we've gotten a number of calls from different counties with missing persons, uh, which will, will all be a big help to us when we get it all recovered into Atlanta. We were called by Peach County yesterday afternoon to assist them with the actual crime scene processing of the skeleton remains that were found out here. So right now I actually have one crime scene specialist from my office and we called last night and uh, actually requested an additional specialist to show up here from Sylvester, Georgia. In my 32 years of law enforcement, I've only been involved in about five of these and so they don't happen that often and so when it does happen, we actually, that's the reason we reached out to the Sylvester office to uh, send us some additional help, again, just for the exposure and, and so forth. And, and having extra sets of eyes out here is, is very helpful. And I will say, Peach County has sent a number of people out here. If you look out and you show the cars that are parked out here around the scene, there's a ton of people out here trying to help. They're sifting through lots of debris. There's a lot of pine straw. There's a lot of rubbish and so forth that's down on the ground. And so it's an intricate type process where you're going through it very slowly, methodically, because you don't want to overlook anything. This is just very out of character for our little community here. It's not something we deal with very often. It's not something we want to deal with. But like I told you earlier, right now we have a lot more questions than we have answers. So hopefully we're getting to a point where we can start getting some answers back.